Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Blue. I'm doing it again. Here we are. Um I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you've been listening to the if you've been watching it's like a podcast now. If you watched uh, the other show, the other Pokemon show I did, episode 18, you'll know the deal. I uh, lost all the audio for 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 these episodes. So I'm redoing them. I lost all the audio. It was terrible, like unsalvageable. Um, so I'm doing doing them all again. I decided to like half put the um, the background music in. Like I said, all the music was like all the audio was just garbage. So what I did was in the last one, and probably what I'll do in this one, is I um like find the sound clips online for like roughly the music that is supposed to be playing, and uh, I play it through the video. I didn't bother like doing the battle signs every time I fought a Zubat because I was like, <coughs> you know, that's gonna take too long and the file's gonna be w way too big with whenever I export it. Like, no. So I just kind of kept um, the root music the same, like all the way through until I got into a battle. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, for the most part, I just kind of synced the music up myself. Um, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm doing this one again. And then after this one is finished, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming, which I'm very excited about, um, because I don't like it when things don't work. This uh, happened a lot with um, the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough I did, if you guys haven't seen that. You know, feel free to check it out and tell your friends. Although, like I've said before, like my microphone wasn't working for the beginning of uh, Super Mario Sunshine, which was a real pain. So like you can hear like the computer the fan on my computer like really loudly in the Super Mario uh, Sunshine playthrough for the first like nine or ten episodes and it's a real downer because it's really hard to listen to the show and uh, which is a shame because I really liked the Mario Sunshine one I thought that was really funny um, so I um, don't remember what I was talking about but anyway so I'm redoing I'm redubbing this I'm watching it right now and um, I recorded this like at the end of July or the beginning of August, so it's only going up now, and I'm really, really sorry, but you know, I I, I kind of had stuff to do, and um, my computer wasn't working a lot of the time, and it's 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 really tough. I don't want to you know make it sound like my life is so desperately hard, but I mean like you know it was just hard to get everything to kind of align because a lot of the time my computer will screw up the audio, and I just have to deal with it, you know, so. Um, at least this one I can fix. And the Tony Hawk's one I can fix too. I've decided I'm just going to put, instead of like having loads of music in the background that would be totally lifted by copyright, I'm just going to put my band music in the background instead. And then that way I won't have to pay any royalties. So that's, that's again, it's great advertising for me. Smart. So um, what, what the hell is happening in this? We're like three minutes in. I have no idea what the fuck. Hey, we fought a Zubat. Whoa, 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 what a surprise. Um, my little depression. My little Clefairy depression. I love Clefairy now. I never really, like, ever caught a Clefairy. And I was so excited to, to get one. Um, just to, to use it and see how it works. And it's really, I like it. So it's worked out pretty well for me. My depression is strong, my friends. Strong depression. Uh, oh, I can't escape. Because I'm a little bit Clefairy. But yet Onyx is just not kicking my ass the way it should be. I mean, look at it. It's a giant old fucking rock snake, and it's just like, I'm just slapping the hell out of it. With my teeny tiny little hands. My little Clefairy hands. I don't know when I'm going to evolve Clefairy. Because I don't really know what I'm going to do with Clefairy. Like, at the moment, it knows, like, double slap and hypnosis and metronome. Minimize, I think, is the, um... Oh, does it know hypnosis? Maybe it doesn't. It, I think it knows pine and double slap. It said it on the screen a moment ago whenever Clefairy was out, so maybe somebody could double check. But I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with Clefairy. My Pokemon technique will leave you crying. I think that's what it said. Um, yeah, Clefairy, because I don't use it. It's like I don't really use normal types at all because um, they don't have any like weaknesses and stuff. No, they don't have any strength. They're not good against. They're not specifically good against anything. So I just don't tend to use them that much. 
Self-destruct? Are you shitting me? Is this, this happens? I don't remember this. Fuck! Oh no! My depression exploded? Yeah, that's a new one. But I beat this fuck. I give. You're a better technician. Yeah, dude, because you didn't even use a technique. You just fucking blew up, man. What the fuck kind of technique is that? Do I gotta go back and heal? I assume I don't have any revives at this point. Um, that's probably not on the cards. That's a shame. I was trying to build up experience for my depression. My depression needs experience. You can't neglect it. It really needs constant attention. Let me tell you. Um, my chop should be no bother. I, maybe, I can't remember how I was feeling at this point. I probably was... Hit me with your best shot. Oh, hello, Pat Benatar. What are you doing inside this cave? Hey, whoa, that ain't Pat Benatar. Uh-oh. That was Pat Benatar, right? Hit me with your best shot. I think that was. I'm pretty sure that was. Um. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I really... I'm not sure what was going through my head right now. Because, like I said, it was like a month and a half ago when I recorded this, so... I don't know if I was like, should I struggle on and get through the cave and then backtrack or should I backtrack now and heal and then come back again? You know what I should have got? And this is going to surprise you guys who played Pokemon before. I really should have bought some fucking repels. Would not have been good. A little repel to stop all these fucking machops coming in here. Pointing their tails at me. You notice their tails are way bigger in Pokemon Red and Blue than there are in the rest of them. It's something they kind of toned down their like little stubby tail, and um, from a chop. All right. Oh, level twenty-seven. At least somebody's getting some fucking experience. And like you would imagine, he would because right here, right here in this fucking cave, like you know, that's the kind of place. Bindy bar would get loads of experience. A little uh, weeping bell. I wonder, where do you get a grass stone from? Do you get it in, um, what do you call? Celadon? With a big old apartment store? I'm gonna get a drink, hang on. Urgh. This is fun, isn't it? Uh, I just feel like I'm taking a break. I'm recording this on a Saturday, and I feel like, like, like I've, I've got the day off school, you know? I'm like, I'm just chilling, I'm not drinking a Coke. Nobody can stop me. I'm not even drinking beer, man. I could do, but I'm not, you know, how many. Hmm. I mean, obviously I do. Of course I have beer. Oh, I went back to the Pokemon Center. Did I dig? Oh. I was too busy talking about drinking. I didn't even notice. I am not good at this. I assume I d digged or used an escape rope or something. I don't think I have dig yet. I wanted to... I wanted to get dig. And I wanted to put Dig on Nidoqueen, which I thought would be a really good idea. And then it turns out Nidoqueen doesn't learn Dig, but it does know Earthquake. It can learn Earthquake, but not Dig. And I'm like, well, what? Just why? I want Dig. That's ass. That's total dick ass. Give me Nidoqueen and Dig, I guess. But they didn't do that, so. Yeah, I, there's no way I could have walked that far. In the time it took me to pour myself a drink, so I guess I used an escape rope. Escape ropes, man, when the first time I ever played this game, never used them. And then I very quickly realized that, that was a stupid idea. And I oh, I did have repels on! Huh. Boy, you learn something new every day. Am I just terrible at this game? I think I am. Yeah, alright. What else we got? Geodude, I ain't afraid of no Geodude. I beat that guy. I wanted this episode to be all like uh, Rock Tunnel because I figured it would take me a long time to navigate through it. I don't know Rock Tunnel off the top of my head, like like the back of my hand. I don't know it like... Like I could get through my moon pretty quick because I kind of know where his stuff is and where to, like the basically where to go. Uh, but Rock Tunnel, I don't remember. Um... I think the first time I ever played Rock Tunnel, like years and years ago, I, as I recall, I didn't use Flash. I think I just bumbled through it. So I've never been able to like totally remember all of the bits and pieces of it. Um, yeah. 
I'm st I like how I'm sticking with Bungie Wire up front. And, like, it's obviously the best, but, you know. Oh, yeah, who are we gonna switch to? Yeah, Nightcap. This fucking guy, he knows what's going on. So he's 27, and then he's 26, and he's a hypno now, which is cool. I kind of talked over his evolution earlier, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was so happy to finally get a hypno. Um... Because I want my team to be like, I think at the, well, no, Nether Queen is fully evolved, and now I, we got, <coughs> ooh, we got um, Hypno, so we've still got, um, I need to get a Leapstone for um, Victory Bell, Weaving Bell, Bounty Bar right here, and I need to get a Moonstone, I have a Moonstone, but I need it for Clefairy, um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to evolve Clefairy, it could be any time. I can't remember if I revolved re it in the episodes that I have recorded. Maybe. I can't remember. I'm not a good remember boy. I really am not. So, it's just something I have to live with every day. Short-term memory loss and, um, you know, short-term uh, friend loss. Sometimes you lose your friends. Where are they? Oh, they're probably in quicksand. You know? It happens. Uh, so, I don't know the layout of Rock Tunnel. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know where the secrets are. Which is a shame. Like, I kind of know Victory Road. I kind of know Unknown Dungeon. Not perfectly, but, like, I know what bits, and I know, you know... Well, you'll see when we get there. You'll be like, he doesn't know this shit at all. He was a lying sack of crap. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I definitely am a sack of crap. Can't argue with you there. You've got me. Yeah, give me some more depression levels. Can I fight that guy? How much that guy weighs? Um, alright, Zubat. I mean, a Clefairy could take a Zubat, right? But then, like, it's only level 16. Is there any point in, in getting, like, that kind of piddly experience? I need to see, like, what the experience levels are on these guys, but... Maybe I'll do it after this fight with, um, this young gentleman. With his Onyx. Can a Clefairy take an Onyx? I don't even, I don't even try. And I'm like, no, fuck that, dude. I'm going straight for the body boy. This guy's. G <coughs> <coughs> oh. I'm sorry. I had a little tickle in my throat. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is this is a great episode, isn't it? You guys, this you know. Can you believe that YouTube gives this shit away for free? Unbelievable. What content? What um? What a boy. This is classic stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. I put a lot of uh, time and effort into my videos. As you can see. I'm very well prepared. Mm. I am a professional YouTube. Thank you very much for a word. I enjoy a word. Thank you. I accept on behalf of YouTube and myself. That is if I ever get out of the ward. And I will accept it. On behalf of YouTube and myself. I beat the hiker. What am I doing? Which way is it? Oh, dude, tell me about it. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. That sleeping Pokemon on Route 12 forced me to take this detour. Route 12. Did we go to Route 12? Oh, we... Well, we were... Wait. We went to Route 11, right? Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Um, why don't you go fuck yourself, buddy? I should. St I need to stop swearing. YouTube doesn't like the swears, and I gotta. I gotta keep take it easy. I gotta take it easy, boy. Although, like, it's not like my channel makes any money anyway, so I'll be all right. Imagine it did start to make money, and then they took all the money away because they went back and looked at my old videos, and they're like, "Whoa, this sucks. <laughs> this is garbage." What is wrong with you? And I'm like, man, you know, everybody's going to start somewhere. This is like a little time capsule. No, I, hey, feature me. Did it work? And then feature me be in prison. They'd be like, no, dude, it did not work. Things got significantly worse after you started posting videos on YouTube. And they lost all our money. Your child is crippled. With many, many diseases. It's not good. The poor, poor little Billy, and that's not even his name. But he's poor and little anyway, and he's seventy-two years old. What are we gonna do about him? 
And I'm like, why is my son older than me? And then they're like, he, he adopted him, don't worry about it. It's, it's a long story that we're not going to explain right now. And I'm like, but I want to talk about it on YouTube, my friends. And then they're like, that's part of the problem. That's where it all started to go wrong for you. You told everybody on YouTube all of your family woes. And then, you know, bad things happen. I'm like, cool, I got you. That's what I get for talking to my future self. You're talented enough to hike. Thanks, buddy. I guess we should go through here. Yay, this is the end. I think in this episode, this is going to be a spoiler for going ahead, but I think what happens in this episode is I get right to the edge of Rock Tunnel, and I can't remember that it's right at the edge. So I, like, stop the episode. And in the next episode, I kind of go through the door. Like, that's how it starts, is me like going through the door out of Rock Tunnel, and I'm like, oh, shit, I could have just done that in the last episode. Um, because I'm an idiot, so I want to make I want to put that on the record. Can you please put that on the record that I said that I was an idiot? Thank you. Did I fight her? Did I fight any of these fucking guys? Oh, all right, I'm not not supposed to swear. Did I fight any of these flipping guys? These heckin' flips, flip. Uh, I'm clearly avoiding her, so. <laughs> Is this the end? This I thought this was the end. No, it's not the end. There's another bit, right? I'll get a zoo bat. I haven't fought one of them in a while. Hmm. Why didn't I put another rappel on? Have I got no money? What the fuck is wrong with me, man? Am I an idiot? <coughs> Please, answer in the comments below. Because apparently YouTube likes it when people comment and, and they interact with the videos. So yeah, tell me if I'm an idiot. I won't mind. It's the internet, you know, I fucking <laughs> for all that anyway. I'm well aware of what the internet thinks in with regards to me and my intelligence level. So don't worry about it, guys. You're sweet. Um, Jigglypuff versus depression. Who's gonna win? Probably me, cause I'm awesome and super cool. This commentary is not as as full of facts is the last one and this one's a little bit rambly and I'm not even drunk yet it's like Saturday I was gonna say Saturday morning but it's not it's not the afternoon Um. so I'm just you know this is how I spend my Saturdays you guys watching my own videos and talking over the top of them it's a hoot it's a grand old fucking time I'm having so much fun Look at the fun I'm having. Oh, you can't see it because I don't have my face camera on. Would you guys like that? A face cam? By you guys, I mean Gareth, who's just watching the video. Also alone in his house. I mean, he, he has a family too. But for some reason, whenever he watches my videos, he's like, Everybody out! Get out of the house! Because these are very sinful videos. They're full of sin, and he can't allow his, his, his family to realize, to know... That that he watches these videos that are full of sin, cause he's a good he's a good man, he's a good boy, and he's never never sinned once in his life, not once. That bank robbery that he clearly did, he was framed. Like the the fact that his face, that he forgot to wear a mask, and his face was all over the CCTV footage, and then therefore all over the news, it wasn't him. It was a frame up. They snookered him. They 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 jingled him, you know. And it's uh, I won't have it. I won't stand for it. This blatant framing. It's not. And if I ever find the guy who framed him when it wasn't me, I'll I'll ooh, I'll get him. Yeah, I, I'll definitely get him. <laughs> I'll show him what's for. Oh, it's you, dude. How about that? I didn't see that coming. Oh, a you, dude, and, and Zubat's in this stupid-ass fucking cave? Cool. Like, isn't there supposed to be something else in this cave? Is it just Zubat's and Geodude's and Onyx? Because if that's all it is, this cave sucks and I don't like it. That's all I find. Because I remember in some of the other ones, you can catch other things. <laughs> I hope that cleared everything up. Um, I believe in Generation 4. What do you call it? Um, heart Gold and Soul Silver. I had Heart Gold. 
And I believe I caught my the first ever shiny Pokemon that was in like the red Gyarados. I caught my first ever shiny Pokemon. I was so happy. And it was in Rock Tunnel. Um, you know, in the second half of Gold and Silver. Or um, Heart Gold, I should say. In the second half of Heart Gold, you get... Um, you get to go back to Kanto, which is where Red and Blue were set. So you get to see all the sights and go through all the bits. So I ran through the rock tunnel in that one. And near the end of it, like right before you go to, um, what do you call it? The spooky town. What's the spooky town called? Uh, uh, Lavender Town. Right before you, you come out of the cave to go to Lavender Town. I find a shiny Cubone, and that was the first shiny I'd ever got. And I'm like, hot damn, isn't this cool? It was cool. So I caught a Cubone. So I don't think Cubone's in here, though. I think you can only catch Cubone in Pokemon Tower. And I can't be bothered doing that, so I'm not gonna. There you go. It was a fact. So I fought this gentleman. Uh, I, whatever he said, I don't know. I had to see how far the video was going. I think it went a little bit too far. So hopefully I have enough um, stuff recorded for this. I don't know if I do, but we'll, we'll, you know, I'll make it through. I don't remember what I was talking about earlier. I had to stop it for a second, but that's the way it goes. Um, so uh, we got a Clefairy fighting that Slowpoke. Isn't that cool? I guess. I'm just annoyed about how long this episode is. Like, these days, when I started, the episodes were like 15 minutes. And as you get through Pokemon, you're like, I gotta... 15 minutes is nothing. 15 minutes is like two fights. I gotta, you know... I gotta, I gotta stick with it a little bit more. I gotta put more time in, into it. I gotta... I, I think half an hour. Somewhere between 20 minutes and half an hour is probably good for Pokemon. And it seems like a lot, but, it, you know... Pokemon's an RPG, and if you want to get through it, and you want to, like, really... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that was a rough one. Oh, dear. If you want to, like, play an RPG properly, you got to put the hours in. This is a fact. And so, you know, if I just made all these videos 10 or 15 minutes, like, there'd be a million videos, and the series would take forever to get done. And I wouldn't be happy about that. So, we're doing it this way. Half an hour videos. Or 20 minute videos. Or whatever. You know, whatever works, man. Whatever gets me to the destination quicker. Which is probably half an hour videos. So it's all cool. Uh, here I am. Healing people up. Um, I like I always like Slowpoke's little... His sprite came off really well, Slowpoke's. His was good. I like him. He is a good boy. He's a good Slowpoke boy. Um... That's what I gotta say about that. I don't care if anybody wants to fight me about it. Come get me. <coughs> I'm gonna take another swing. I gotta say, this watching my my Pokemon videos back, not as much fun as I thought it was gonna be. So God bless anybody who is actually watching this because this shit sucks ass. And I can say that because I made it, but you know, I don't know what else to do. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wow. Come back, depression. Go, Bounty Bar. Uh, I thought it would be funny. I just really wanted to do Pokemon Blue. I like it. It's my favorite game. So, you know, I wanted to show it off. And soon, whenever I get my Pokes up to level 50, I'm going to play them through Pokemon Stadium. Just for fun. For chips, chips and jokes, and flams and scams. Uh, I beat the Pokemaniac, sweet man. You fucking should be jealous, you piece of shit. No, you can't have my Pokedex, you can go suck a dick, that's what you can do. Oh, uh, you don't try nothing funny in the dark. Oh, and I'm like walking towards it with like the big, like fake glasses, and like the Groucho glasses and the fake nose and stuff. I'm like, ah. Okay, sorry. I won't try anything funny. Get it? Because that's funny. You guys, if 
people know people do people know Groucho? I think it's a real it would be a real shame if Groucho Marx is one of those things lost to time. Cause sometimes you like, you know, like you see kids these days and they're like, What's a camera? You know, like <laughs> 'cause they're fucking idiots. Like they don't know how to tell the time on a clock because all their their numbers are digital now, they're not analog. So they don't know what an analog clock is and they're like, What the fuck? Why is it a circle? You know, so like kids don't know how to use a clock. Um, so if they don't know how to use a clock then, you know, I fear they won't know who Groucho Marx is. And I'm like, that's a gosh dang shit. Because Groucho Marx is one of the quickest, funniest uh, people. He's he, uh, he's just funny. Such a way with words. He's a wordsmith, you know. And uh, for him to be lost to time would be a dreadful shame. Because he's a very funny individual. So kids, if you're out there, go watch Groucho Marx. And then tell the time on a fucking clock, will you? You kids make me sick. <laughs> you goddamn kids. You're uh, you're an embarrassment of the human race. Uh, but not like me, obviously. I'm a fucking... <laughs> I'm clearly, you know, very responsible young fella, my lad. But you young kids, you better watch your fucking asses. Or you're out of this place. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. What am I doing? Am I looking for um, full heels or something? I don't know. I wish I could tell. I wish I knew what I was doing when I said this thing. Like, what is it I'm supposed to be doing? Where am I supposed to be going? I think this is the end of it, though. I think this is the end of Rock Tunnel. Um, I think if you just, like, if you go down past that lady and then take a left or a right, depending on, like, you know, whether you're looking at the game or you're in the game, you, you gotta take a left or a right. Um, but then you get to the exit, and I wasn't sure if that was the exit or not. So I think I left it for an episode, and it went through the exit. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> there it is. That's the end of it. Um, what else we got here? At least a Pidgey is something different to see in a fucking uh, Kiev. You know, I'm like, what's a bird doing in a cave? Get that bird out of this cave, is what the people would say. Uh, those ignorant people. I mean, birds can be in cage caves as well if they want to be. Who's used to say a bird doesn't want to be in a cave. I flinched. Oh, fuck you, buddy. You fucking mouse. I squish it. I punch it. I'm going to punch your fucking mouse. What do you think of that? No, huh? I'm going to suck a dick. Uh, another mouse. Should I switch? Am I gonna heal? Wonder what wonder what past me did that I forgot about. Super potion. Oh yeah. What do you like that, Mr. Mars? Oh, hyperfunk shit, dude. That's pretty good. Oh, it did that to dick. That that you just did dick. You <laughs> that's my new <laughs> that's my new catchphrase. <laughs> you <laughs> You just did dick. And Dick's like, what are you talking about? What? And I'm like, I'm afraid so, Dick. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's gotta be. You gotta take one for the team, Dick. He's like, mm, okay. Bell Sprite. In a Kiev? Get out of time. Get all the way out of time. Never come back to time. Or I will hunt you down. Um, Yeah, because he's part poison, so it'd be easy to take down with my wonderful Hypno. Look at his little watch that he's hypnotizing people with. I defeated JR Trainer. I play hard. You goddamn right I do. Whoa, I'm all sweaty now. Hello. Me too. Let's take a bath together. How about that? Is that, is that, is that, is that an inappropriate thing to ask? Whenever we're in the middle of a cave and we just fought our Pokemon. Hey, you want to just take a bath? Your, your mice can watch if you want. It's fine. Mice can get in too if you want to have a bath. Um... <laughs> oh, well, hasn't this been a fucking fun trip? Um, do I gotta fight her? I think I maybe stop here because I think the entrance is right there. Stop pretty soon. Not too much more time to go. So you guys are lucky that you won't have to struggle through this shit anymore. 
Um, but yes, after this, we will go back to our regularly scheduled programming, which I'm very happy about. And there'll be another Tony Hawk's episode up soon that I will fuck around with. And there's some new stuff coming up too. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really, really love you guys and appreciate you sticking through this bullshit anyway. Because it is bullshit. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, have a good one.